Hi, I'm Lacey Rodriguez from No Filter Beauty, and I'm going to show you today how to clip a topper on and off without pulling on your bio hair or doing any further damage to your bio hair. If you do this right, it really shouldn't hurt. It shouldn't pull out or damage your bio hair, and it will get easier with practice. I'm going to be demonstrating with the Clio 12L from Dimples Hair. So this is a mono top. Um, this one doesn't have a clip in the front. It just has these on the sides and then on the back. So I'm going to show you how to clip this in and get it right without having to mess with it too much. So what I'm going to do is I have my, my hair parted where I want it parted. I have my topper parted where I want it parted so that when I sit it on my head, it sits in the middle. That's how it should be cut. If I don't have it sitting in the middle, you're going to have wonky lengths and things like that. So make sure that your parts are able to line up. And um, I've already styled my bio, my bio hair, so I'm just gonna clip it right in, okay? What I'm gonna do with all the clips closed, I always keep my clips closed when I don't have my top around my head, uh, because otherwise, if you leave them open, you're gonna get hair like stuck in these clips all the time, and it's just messy, and it can damage the hair on your piece. So in order to take good care of it, keep the clips closed when they're not on your head. So I'm gonna flip it over like this, um, with all the clips closed still, I'm going to line up my part. This gets so much easier and faster with practice. But now that I have my parts lined up, I'm going to push down to open these clips. So if you push down in the middle of them, they will pop open. Okay, and then I'm going to just scoop a little bit of hair and keep, keep the ridge of the topper exactly where you want it, which for me is right on my hairline. And then push down on the sides of the clips like this. They're like those old school barrettes that we used to use <laughs> that you, you know, pop open, push in and clamp shut. That's exactly how these work. So, okay, those are in, they're secure. So now I'm going to hold on to the topper and I'm going to find the back clips. I'm just sticking my thumb kind of underneath it. And then same thing. I'm going to push on it to open it, scoop some hair and then push it shut like this. Same with this side. My thumb is usually what I find it with. Push down and clamp shut, okay? So all the clips are closed. Now, if you feel any pulling, like if you can feel uh, like it's got one strand of hair that's kind of like tugging on, um, you can simply, same thing, open the clip and then reclip it, but don't move it. So if you, if you open it and reclip it, usually it will let go of that stray hair that's <laughs> getting caught. Uh, but what you don't want to do is this, and a lot of people will do this. They're like, oh, they've got it on and they've got it clipped, but they're like, oh, I need to like move it a little bit. It's not quite straight. And then they clamp it again. And then this is like, oh, now back here hurts. So then I have to like move it and clamp it. And now this one again. And what you end up doing is getting a whole bunch of hair, like all ratted and matted under those clips. And then that's going to make it really hard when you go to take it off. Um, it's just going to be like, pulling and you're you're just not going to know which way to even pull so I don't recommend doing it that way once it's clipped in don't move the clips like I said you can unclamp them and clamp them try not to do that too much only if you feel like a hair that's pulling but once you get it on leave it if you don't like the placement of it or you feel like you need to move it or adjust it just take the whole thing off it's so much better to do that um, it might seem, like I said, a little time consuming, but once you really figure this out, they really are like seconds. It takes me less than 30 seconds to clip on my topper. Easy. Okay. So let's do this again. I'm going to line up my part. I got my first two clips, scoop and clip. I like to do the first two together on this piece because it keeps the front really flat to my head um, without getting any air bubbles. So if I were to do like one at a time, it would kind of, sometimes it wouldn't sit as flat. So I like doing the front two together because I can pull them down at the same time. Um, and then on the back, scoop and clip, scoop and clip. Okay, it feels comfortable. You don't want to pull it too tight. So don't be like, like pulling on it. You just want it to be taut, but comfortable. So once it's on, don't mess with it. If you have to mess with it, you'll have to take it off. Now I'm gonna just kind of brush in my bio hair to mix in with the topper. I like to kind of get a little bit of volume going. I can like mess with it now. 
uh, but the, it's secure and it's not moving. And I can wear this all day. And because the clips are closed, they're not gonna get tangled anymore in your hair. They're just holding on to some of the hair and it's not gonna budge until you go to take it off. Okay, so it's the end of the day, you're ready to take your topper off. Now what I do is I open all the clips. Again, I stick my thumbs under the clips, pop them all open. Even if I'm not using them, like sometimes uh, a topper will have more clips than I need, but I will open all the clips, okay? Even the ones I didn't clip in. That way there's no way that hair's gonna get stuck in there. And then I just do this. I just kind of wiggle it out, shake it gently, and it comes out super easy. I didn't, it didn't hurt, it didn't pull on my hair, it didn't break any hair off. Uh, but doing that kind of wiggly motion will help kind of just gently get it out of your hair. Another tip for reducing damage and, you know, just general <laughs> uncomfortableness with a topper is once you have it on, like just leave it on. <laughs> um, I don't like to take my topper on and off multiple times a day. I used to think that I would like give my head a rest for a couple hours and take my topper off and then put it back on later. Uh, I just prefer now to just leave it on. If I'm gonna wear it that day, I'll just leave it on all day. Um, taking it on and off over and over and over again can really irritate your your hair, your scalp. Um, it, it can just make it a little more sensitive and then the t it ends up kind of, it can end up hurting later on. So if I just put it on in the beginning of the day and leave it on until I'm ready to kind of take it off for the day, that's usually the way I do that. And it's actually more comfortable than taking it on and off. And lastly, just remember that this is a skill just like anything else and something that you'll get used to. Once your hair, once your topper is kind of customized to fit your head and your, your style and your haircut, uh, it kind of fits just like a puzzle piece. And it's kind of hard to believe that when you first get it because it feels so foreign. But I know, like, I know exactly where all of my toppers, they're all different, and I know exactly where to clip them all in. And it's just from doing it over and over. So when you first get a topper, it's good to take a little while and practice clipping it on and off and figuring out exactly where that sweet spot is and exactly where you want to sit it on your head. There are some toppers that look a little bit better or some people's head shapes where toppers look a little bit better placed just back half an inch or so. So that's another option and something you can play with. But once you figure out exactly where you want your topper, uh, then it's so much easier to clip it on and off. It's like I said, seconds. If you have more bio hair or if your hair is kind of fluffy or curly, you may want to kind of slick your hair down underneath. Um, you can use just like a spray bottle and slick it down. Uh, anything to get your topper to sit flatter. That's just another thing. Like if you've got a lot of poof right here, try wetting it, seeing if you can get it to sit flatter and then go in with the topper and, and clip it on. And that should hold your hair down easier if it's already plastered to your head um, than when it's dry and fluffy. Thanks so much for joining me in this video. If you have any questions or suggestions or things, tricks that you like to use, please leave them down below in the comments and any requests for content or questions you have, things you're struggling with with toppers, please let me know and I will definitely make a video about it. So thanks so much, you guys. Thanks for trusting me. Thanks so much for being here. Please subscribe and like this video if it was helpful and let me know what else you'd like to see. See you guys.